have to tighten the cinch at all, mm -hmm. um, I will lead them forward again. Oh, yeah. So right. That, okay. To be sure they're comfortable with yeah, that. Some people don't do that. Out of step. That's good. She's. And if she'll stand and kind of get used to us. When I was riding her around the other day, I was touching her on the butt. And she was not sure with her feet moving how that was going to work out for her. Mm -hmm. So what I do in those situations is I'll, I'll get there and get out before they have a chance to really react. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can think about that. Mm. And here I'm just going to ask her to kind of look to the right. There she goes. with her a lot. I just kind of like for her to, to be able to travel around with me up here. Carrying I'll get a little bit weight. short on this rein here and I'll reach back there. Oh yeah. Back here and back there. Uh -huh. Oh this is better today. So that's good. She's She's got more used to that. But she's still, like we talked about before, things behind her and, and stuff um, can, can booger her a little bit yet. Now I'm going to come down here and we're going to try and go to the left. So I'm offering it to her. I'm not really taking strong hold of her. See how that shoulder comes through? And she didn't really look. So I'm not going to take a hold of her and make her look to the left. I'm just going to offer it. So now we can come to the left again. As she's coming around here, I'd, I'd like for her to look there. She's getting a little straighter in her head and neck. She's still a little more dominant out that right eye, but I, I'm gonna, with my seat and this inside leg, I'm gonna ask her there to come around here to the left between you guys and her tail. There's a good, she's really looking out that left eye. That was good, mm -hmm. that was good. She led with the shoulder more than what I'd like, but at least she looked. Now we'll come around. To the right, I'll go out to the rail a little bit more, push her over with that inside leg, and then I'm going to come around here. See, she gets real round and really looks going to the right. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now she, she'd prefer to go to the right some more, and there, there's that shoulder leading through to the left again. So my left leg is just going to kind of come in and barely touch her right at the cinch with just my calf there and she's kind of looking that's good that's good she's traveling around looking out that left eye that's really nice that's that's kind of what what we'd like for her to get very very comfortable doing is that so she knows what she's turning into kind of thing or what it's um, horses are binocular in vision and binocular in the way the information goes into their brain. Yeah. So if she's looking out the right eye and traveling to the left, yeah. there's more chance if something happens on the left, there's more chance of her startling okay. because she's not aware of what's over there. Right. She's right. not seeing it. Mm -hmm. so, so if she's looking, she's li likely to be uh, much calmer in that uh, because she knows what she's going into. That's right. She's real aware of what's on that left side. Right. So here we'll come back around to the right. Your hindquarters and front end work together going around there. That's yeah, she good. was even kind of reaching out with that yeah. right front. Yeah. So then we'll come we'll come back to the left here. She's wanting to lead with that shoulder. So I'm taking some time. You can see I'm a little bit shorter on that left rein. And my left leg's coming in and kind of standing her up just a little bit there like that. Now she can make it. I'll just turn her loose there. There she can make it. There she can make it. Good. That was really good. Really were you good. were you using the the, the rain at all there? Yes. Okay, just so what I'll do, I'll do it on this side so you can film it is I'm I'm taking a hold of that rain right there and just taking the slack out of it. Now okay. that's up against her neck and my leg is coming in to help her shoulders stay up so her hindquarters have a place to go. 
If her uh, shoulders fall into the inside, she it's it'll block the left hip from coming. Does that make sense? If so her if the shoulders shoulder. fall in here, then my my hip can't reach can't operate out this way. I don't know why, but it it if if they're reaching, see, I want her shoulder to come out towards the rail, so my left rein left leg are encouraging her to go out towards the rail and she's saying well if my hind if my hind quarters come there like that good that was better we'll do that again so i'd like for her see i'm not pulling her head around there she brought that herself mm -hmm. i'm all i'm doing is asking for that good oh. i'll release for that there that felt good to her <laughs> so, I'm, so i'm helping her to, to stay upright from her feet up through her spine that, that uprightness is real important for them to carry my like a guy my size mm -hmm. if if they're leaning like a bicycle here or there uh, it throws them way off balance and they just can't they just can't get comfortable it, it feels feels too much to them like they're uh, gonna fall down mm -hmm. I think so I'll try that again I want I want her looking to the left so I'm Shoulder up here. There. Good. Good. There we go. Now I'll let her go straight. So I don't have to make an arc each time. I can, I could, uh, I can cut her here and touch her there. Let's go. Touch her here and touch her. Good. I'm more comfortable doing this on the left since she can look out that left eye now. That's, that's oh. helping me with a lot of those, a lot of the startling stuff that she had. I think it's because she was only looking out that. So now I'm just going to stand her up again. Now I'm going to use both reins and leg over to the outside. There we go. Good. Good. I'll do that again. Use both reins and just in the inside leg and just there we go. Good. Where she's wanting to fall to the inside, I'll just help her go back out towards the rail. Okay. Good. Very good. So we're teaching her to leg heel at the same time we're helping her get upright and balanced. Good. She's soft and nice. She really wants to yield the pressure and things so oh let's yeah go. take her here and see if we can switch back to the right side so i'd like if my left leg comes in i'd like for her hindquarters to reach around let's see if we can get it i'd like for her hindquarters to go out to the go out to the right don't you want her reaching more underneath her with her left i want i want her hindquarters going out to my right like that oh okay i want her hindquarters going out to my right 